Ready? She's shifting her exercise into a different gear. At 102, Green Acres Foundation's oldest resident, Ruth Shoemaker, was the first to be able to get behind the handlebars and test out this new assisted tandem e-bike. It was very, very nice. I mean, I could have gone longer. <laughs> she asked to be the very, very first resident on these bikes, so you don't argue with a 102-year-old, so she got to be the very, very first one. Funded through the foundation's annual charity golf tournament and with the help of the Community Foundation of Lethbridge, four new e-bikes have been brought in for the residents at the Heritage Lodge. It was wonderful. It was so much fun. We, we had a bicycle ride for two. We were going for coffee, but we didn't get that far. The mayor forgot his wallet. Kislovi says this new initiative is aimed at helping seniors get some exercise in a fun way. I mean, we do provide the housing and the necessary services like food, housekeeping and things like this. But what we found, especially during the pandemic, social isolation for residents, for senior residents, um, is really detrimental to their health. Being able to get out and about, what a great opportunity to, you know, for our community. It's, it's fantastic. Both Cothra and Shoemaker say they plan to go for another spin. Oh, I'll go with it when I, somebody else will drive it, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do races back there for sure. <laughs> for Bridge City News, I'm Angela Stewart.